today we are logging on to 2008 server. Um, we've been talking about group policy, we've done roaming user profiles, restrictive desktop policies, um, logon messages, password policies. Today we're going to look at uh, deploying software using group policy. Let's add the GPMC, Group Policy Management Console, via a Microsoft Management Console snap-in. And let's go here, here, open up everything where we can kind of see it nice and easy there. And again, just remember some of the settings of our group policy. In this case, we have two policies being applied. Their cumulative, or their, that is, their settings will combine unless they conflict, in which case the last policy applied, which would be this one, um, since this one's applied at a higher level, would be dominant, or you know, would be chosen over any conflict with this one. Now, the exception to that, remember, is if I chose enforce, see how this lock appears, then in this case this policy would override this one even if we had turned on block policy inheritance here. So enforce will override that. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Remember we also talked about filtering. If you filter a GPO, go to the delegation tab and click on advanced. And basically what you want to do is edit the access control entry on the DACL for that object. So if a user can't read or apply uh, group policy, if they don't have that permission, then that GPO doesn't apply to them. We did that to Tesla. We explicitly denied read and apply group policy permission. We could have implicitly denied it as well, but he's a member of more than one group. So if any other group had read permission and apply group policy permission, that GPO would still apply to them. So in this case, we chose to explicitly deny him permission. So if he can't read it, that GPO doesn't apply to him. He's been filtered out of it. Now what we're going to do is create a GPO. We'll create and link a GPO here. We'll call this one NH Software Install. And let's go edit this GPO. And we'll look at some of the different possibilities. Um, under Software Settings, you have them um, under both the Computer and User tab. But let's look at some of the differences. Um, if we were to try to add a software package here, I'm going to go to, let's go here, and here. Now I'm going to show you, um, this is going to use the absolute path um, with mapped with a drive loader. That's not a good thing. We, we want this deployed across the network via a network share, so it needs a UNC path. But 2008 will warn you about that, so I'll show you. I'll go ahead and what we'll need to do is go in, in that folder and share that object out. But just to show you what would happen, cannot verify the network location. All right, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. We'll open up Explorer. And let's go. And we want to go to our E drive. And let's go here and share this out. And we just want to make sure that everybody has permission. Again, I'd probably remove everyone. At least this way, you know, you're limiting access to authenticated users. And they don't need full controller, right? Just read access on the folder. We'll say OK, OK, OK. And of course, they're also on the security tab, or they have NTFS permissions for that as well. Let's get the UNC to go to that directory now. So the UNC would be background, Office 2003, Office 2003. And that's the UNC path that we want. So now we'll go back here. And let's look at software installation. And we want to go. We'll go ahead and select this as the file name, and then let's. I'm just going to paste the UNC path right here. So this will actually be our share level path right here. Now notice my options. Um, I can either, uh, you know, use the assign software mode or advanced mode. Published is grayed out because you know we're under computer configuration. You can't publish to a computer. You can assign and publish to a user, but you can only assign to a computer. 
And by assigning, what happens is when that when this computer boots up, and remember computer policy is applied first and then user policy, that software would be installed and made available the next time the machine boots up. So if I were to choose to assign the package, I'll go ahead and click OK. And then the package would appear here. And then I could right click and go to properties. And then under properties, we can decide what we want to call the package or label it. It's deployment if we want to modify or make any changes there. Um, upgrades and service packs we can control. We can specify a category if we want. Um, in this case, if this particular application were being uh, published, it would be listed and add remove programs and we could add a category to it. As it is, remember we can't publish to a computer, we can only assign. Modifications, and of course we could edit the DACL just like anything else um, on NTFS permissions or an Active Directory with the access control entries. So some of the options there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And notice the option there. Um, when I remove this package, I can immediately uninstall it from all the machines that's installed it on the network, or I can choose to allow them to do it on their own later. Okay, let's go and look at the software publishing and assigning capabilities under the user configuration node. I'm going to select package. Again, I want to select my office package. And this time, let's do let's do this one. And let me go ahead and add my UNC path. I'll paste it in there. Notice my options are different. I can publish or assign. Again, if I publish, in this case to the user, it won't be installed when the computer boots like it would if it were published to computer, but it will be made available to them in add remove programs. On the other hand, if I assign to the user, in this case, there were a shortcut would be added to their start menu, and then when they clicked on that icon, it would be installed. So two different options, but we'll make this one available via control panel. And again, you also have the advanced option there. Okay, and there's Microsoft Office Professional Edition 2003.